that was a great performance. And now we can talk about the piano itself. So this piano is a Steinway Model M built in 1922 in New York. This is a New York Steinway. And as you can see, it's in this really nice um, sprayed flat mahogany finish. It's not a hand rubbed finish. It's sprayed flat like this. And it's really, really clean looking. And as you could tell from that video, it sounds amazing. It has a very rich, full sound. The action itself is fairly light and responsive. We did not rebuild this piano. Someone else did. We got this piano from a broker of ours um, in New York. And he had done uh, the restoration on the piano. Prior to us getting it, he refinished the cabinet itself, put a new fallboard sticker on there. But the soundboard has no cracks, no cracks in the bridge, no cracks in the pin block. They did restring the piano. I would say most of the interior restoration work was probably done in the last 10 to 15 years. Um, but as you can see, it sounds amazing, guys, and it plays really, really well, too. It's a very light, responsive action. It's not that really heavy down weight that we see a lot of times on Steinways. It can reach above, you know, 55, 58 grams sometimes. I would guess this one's probably a little bit closer to uh, maybe around 51, 50 grams down weight. Uh, but I'm going to pull the action and show you what we got going on on the inside. All right, so now that I got the action out of the piano, we can talk about what's been done on the inside. Now remember, we did not rebuild this piano ourselves. We got this already done. As you can see, we have brand new uh, Steinway hammers right here, and they rebuilt all of the weapons. So all this felt is all brand new. They did rebush all the center pins as well. Um, basically just sandblast all the weapons, put all new felt on, and then we go in and dial everything in, and we regulate everything to specs. Um, we voice everything, we shape the hammers, tune the piano, um, and then uh, what was great about this one was a lot of times when we rebuild pianos, all of our felt is really tight, especially on our balance rail and our front rail, and so we tend to have a little bit more friction, and we're really kind of reluctant to go in there and ease these bushings because if you do it too early, you're going to push that felt out, and then down the road, it's going to naturally do that, right, by just playing, and the piano is going to become um, kind of like a loosey-goosey thing, so a lot of times with these new pianos, when we've just rebush everything when we do a full rebuild. They feel a little bit heavier, but it, they just need to be broken in. This one's already broken in, which is why it has this really nice responsive light action. But guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or, other, or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome piano-related videos. Thanks for watching, guys.